We'll start this episode off with a bang. Once again, old age is caught up with you and you are dying. My god, Emperor Bob, the warrior philosopher, who has been through everything, who is preparing for the major war with Top Bog, this might be it. He might die again. It is time I left this world and we just die. Or we can put it to chance, perform the last kiss, sacrifice another part of ourself to come back to life. As you die again, somebody, I assume because we don't have a priest. Yeah, okay, uh, let's pretend. Harris, there he is. Harris performs the last kiss upon you. He fills his mouth with fire and breathes flame into you to cleanse your soul. The fire revives you once more. We gain 200 prestige, 200 piety. We lose 10 sacrifices. We gain the trait silent monster oh we gain the trait scarred we lose the trait diligent silent monster oh god uh this character never shows their face hiding it constantly under a helmet or mask they apparently have no psychological needs sorry physiological necessities um different so that they don't need to eat or drink yeah that says they're consuming neither food nor drink and is never heard to speak Many people have suspicions about the identity of this person. Personal combat skill plus 40. Because we are just this monster of a creature. Um, oh god, what have we done? Is this supposed to happen? Oh, that's so strange. Bob is once again returned. I kind of feel like he's almost like the Emperor of Mankind from uh, Warhammer 40k at this stage, right? He's just like this, this, this disgusting figurehead who only exists to do battle against the evil shadow which threatens us all. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So this episode, we're going to try and take out Top Box Boff, who is apparently currently at war with our good boy Emperor Halano of the Second Shadow Sea Gogasossi Embargo War. Classic. So, oh my god, he's got 108,000 men versus our own 82,000 men. Oh, he's a mess. He is a mess. Do you, do you care much about that? Uh, Silent Monster, minus 30. Okay, you know what? That's fair. That's honestly fair. I mean, look at him. He's clearly not gotten out of that very well. That's very, very cool, though. I mean, that, that is very, very cool that we've basically just sacrificed everything at this stage. Minus 8 to everything. Minus 100,000% fertility. 30% general opinion. I mean, is it even worth playing as Emperor Bob? This isn't Emperor Bob. This is just a, a fire given flesh. That's all he is right now. And that's probably going to be the name of the video because that's that's like fairly poetic, I think. Wow, yeah, no, this is this is fucked up. So the dragon is now two years old. The dragon that we hatched last episode, and I rather stupidly asked you guys for suggestions again. So we will be renaming the dragon. But first things first, let's tame the goddamn thing. Good luck, Bob. It doesn't matter. I mean, what's he going to do? Oh no, it might breathe fire on us. Apparently, we're unfeeling anyway. I will tame the dragon. We've gained the trait Dragon Rider, and I believe that's all we need to give us back the Dragon Rider Cassus Belli. Let's just double check here. Yes, we can have Dragon Conquest. Um, oh no, the dragon has to have 10 Marshall. I thought that was it. Uh, so, unfortunately, it's going to take a while for our dragon to get 10 Marshall because he is a nimble dragon. He's also locked in the Dragon Pit. There, I've released the dragon from the Dragon Pit. No more complaining about that in the YouTube comment section. If I see any more comments saying release the goddamn dragon from the Dragon Pit, I'll end up looking like Emperor Bob. So he's nimble, which gives him minus four marshal, which means it's going to take him several years, uh, on average, four years, um, before that's going to happen. So we're going to have to wait another, honestly, like another 12 years um, before this dragon can do any sort of conquest. By that stage, Bob is going to be just a fucking rotting corpse. So I don't think we can rely on the dragon conquest. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I honestly don't think Bob is going to be the one to lead the fight against Top Box Buff. I've tried. I've really, really tried, but obviously, we're, we're losing it here. At the current time of recording, there are two names, both joint first place for the dragon to be called. So, we have the choice of Little Anus or Swordy Name, which is obviously just ridiculous. Um, it comes down to me to make the deciding vote, and I'm going to go with Little Anus, uh, just because Swordy Name is taking the piss a little bit, and you sort of knew what you were doing. Um, Little Anus, also, also pretty good. I'm dying here. Also pretty good. I feel like Emperor Bob right now. Also pretty good, because that is obviously a, a good, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna have to rename him in the save game. Shit, because he's two years old now. You can only rename them when they're one. God damn it. Um, that doesn't matter too much. I will rename him in the save game. Little Anus will be his official name 100%. But for now, for today's episode, he's still gonna be, uh, Wraithwing. 
Um, which is also kind of cool. But yeah, no, sorty name. As much as that is, is good. Maybe if we get if we get another dragon, I'll make it deal. If we get another dragon, we will uh, call that one Sorty Name. And then we can have Sorty Name a little anus. Shit. Your condition has made it hard to rule, yet you, you rule in your own name you did. But now as you sit in your hall presiding over court, Arathon storms through the door, flanked by his supporters. He declares you incapable to rule and assumes regency without opposition. No one backs Emperor Bob to rule. He has become just a vengeful fire beast of a man, incapable of keeping the Empire together. Gain the trait declared incapable, gains the title minor regent, lose 250 prestige. We now can no longer do anything. I don't think we can even declare war, can we? Because the council have to approve it. The regency has to approve it. Let's just double check it here. Um, does your claim on Hesh? Yeah, they, they get to vote on everything now, which is a real, real shame. Um, I didn't realize we were supposed to have that, so I might just grab that one anyway. But yeah, this is... Uh, that last resurrection has fucked us. It really, really has screwed us here. He's 104 years old. He was supposed to die many, many years ago. We've kept him alive... Wrongly, I think is the right word for it. We've, we've turned our beautiful Emperor Bob into into this beast. We've forced it too much. Honestly, it's time. It's time for the blood of Azor Ahai to leave us. And it's time for man, the true blood of man, to take control. Lord Amadon the Brilliant, you my friend. And then his, of course, his descendant as well. The attractive genius Lord Paramount Gaiman, who I would also not mind playing as seeing as he's got uh, 22 diplomacy and 22 stewardship. This kid is insane. And he's our eventual heir as well. So... Bob, it's time for you to retire, my friend. It's time. It's time to. It's time to go to, to go to someone else. You're too old to rock. No more rocking for you. Can we not abdicate? Oh shit. Ah, uh, commit suicide. At first, the prospect of eternal life seemed to be the sweetest dream imaginable. In hindsight, eternity is a very, very long time. I will meet my end in a duel to the death. You will challenge your rival Corgan to a duel. Corgan, if he accepts this, is a fool, because obviously Emperor Bob is, is a silent monster. Um, 175 personal combat. No need for another retainer. Sell it. Let's just get this over with. He's playing right into my hands. He'll not even manage to touch me. I evaded his quick strikes. Oh, fuck. I don't know what I expected. We, we immediately killed Corgan. Um, God damn it. The useless man is absolutely good for nothing. Despite your attempts to give him every possible opening, Corgan managed to give you a few scratches. For this failure, Bob is the only one who will lose his head. I don't know what that means. Uh, we get the trait Roth, though. 50% chance of getting the trait Roth. God damn it. Now we're going to have to try again. Bob, I, ju I just feel like you need to be released from this prison that we've trapped you in. This is just not right. I feel I feel terrible for Emperor Bob the Great resurrected Azor Ahai to end up like this. It's just, it's just not right at all, is it? There was an abdicate button. Thank God. Because I'm kind of glad Bob is going to stick around as this sort of, uh, like I said, fire given flesh. He's just going to be... Uh, this sort of immortal zombie that, uh, I guess leads the troops, just, just wails out into battle. Abdicate. He's gone. Goodbye, Bob. Bob, the warrior philosopher. There he is. What a real shame, huh? What a real shame that that's how things would end up. But here we go. Emperor Amadon the Brilliant of North Valeria, a 64-year-old dude. This was the guy I wanted to be, wanted to have as Azor Ahai all those years ago. Honestly, he's a great character. Attractive, genius, flanker, light foot leader, brilliant commander. He's got a lot of great traits going for him. Disfigured. I think we could get him chosen by the Lord of Light. I don't think we can make him Azor Ahai. I think that falls to someone else, but I think this dude could definitely get chosen nonetheless. If we could get rid of Cruel, Ruthless, get rid of Kinslayer as well, I'm actually going to go for... Oh, he's already on Theology. That seems like the best way, in my opinion, to get chosen by Azor Ahai. So you know what? If we're only playing as this dude for a few years, which I imagine we will be, because obviously he's just a regular dude... Um, this guy is going to be the one, I think, that might be the one to defeat Top Bog. I mean, look at that fucking hair. I mean, I know Devil May Cry is coming out soon, but this is, this is taking the piss. Right, so, open council positions. Advisor, Vermin. Welcome. Ad King Vermin of Young Kai, since when? I'm not sure that's right. I don't remember him being a king of Young Kai, but that's fine. Um, I guess probably the abdication. I guess there was some, uh, title splitting going on there. Doesn't matter too much. It's fine. Um, is a relative of ours, so that's okay. One tower could be a sir. The kingdom of Yonkai. Problem solved. There we go. All right. That, that's that That's that problem dealt with. Um, he's going to hate me now. A half-brother. A jealous half-brother, no doubt. Um, all right. Open council position. Let's give ourselves a new advisor. I imagine a lot of people don't like us either. Uh, let's talk by rank. We're going to have a lot of... Diff yeah, everybody hates us. Why? Why? Frame... 
flame flame application? No, nope, that's not right. Try that one again. Claim fabrication. Decides the Empire of Gishkar. I bet you do. I'm going to destroy that one. Then you can fuck off with that. Get out. I'm destroying it just because it's going to make everybody hate us, to be honest with you. Right. Uh, now they're going to hate us more, but it's only a temporary thing because we destroyed the Empire level touch. So they're not going to be a big fan of that. Taking a loan from me. Fabricated claims on my lands. What has this guy been up to? He's pissed everybody off. Maybe you should just abdicate as well, my dude. Maybe we should just abdicate this guy out as well. Fuck it. Get out. Right, okay. We are now Emperor Gaiman the Noble, a 27-year-old man. Grandson of Bob the Warrior Philosopher, who we are going to keep around as the silent monster here. Can we give him, like, a rank? Can we, can we do something with him? It would be a real shame just to see this dude fade into obscurity, seeing how incredibly good he was. Um... Let's, let's try and get this council set up. Yeah, everybody likes this a lot more, so this is clearly uh, already better. Um, Spy Master, Court Physician, there we go. Man, Bob, I'm, I actually genuinely feel so bad for this dude. Have him assemble a mercenary company. He doesn't have a military education. That'd be kind of cool, though, him having his own sort of holy order. Maybe we'll just keep him locked up. Keep him locked up where the people can't see him. Now, this guy, I think we could get... Oh, that's also another good point. We've managed to get rid of that AT tyranny we had by filter it down over three generations. I think this dude could become a Zora High. He is an incredibly good character. He's also married to his sister, so this is win-win all around, really. What is one is genius, sister. The AI has really kept it down, seeing as I haven't been paying much attention to this. Um, yeah, genius, attractive, authoritative, just, temperate. You're a Zora High. You're, it's just a Zora, a Zora High waiting to happen. Take the mantle from your grandfather, who I believe has to die first. Maybe it's time we put him out of his misery. He dies so a new Azura High can rise. He, he can resurrect himself inside Game of the Noble. And we've got everything to do now. Go on a foreign tour. Oh, God. There we go. We're going to get rid of him. Honestly, it, this isn't Bob. Like, I, you might be upset that I'm doing this, but this is not Bob. This is just a, a horrid monster. Uh, just, like I said, just, just a horrible magic inside the man's body. Let him die. We need to put him down. Scheming bastard. Minus 40. Who cares? Everybody wants to die anyway. Um, slaves are going to be brought to the capital of Illyria, are they now? Uh, did we not already have the maximum there? Yeah, we did. Burnt a peasant. Did I? When did I do that? Because I'm pretty sure I haven't done that one game. Uh, Marius, you please. Let's deal with Bob. Let's, let's get rid of him before this, uh, before the guilt weighs any heavier. Right, plot to kill. We'll just keep trying. The people want him dead. As long as we're not caught, we won't count as a kinslayer, to my knowledge. Right. Oh, uh, some other person died. Might be necessary. Come on, Bob. Just get out of here. Come on, Bob. You you want to die at this stage. Let's be honest with you. Um, Dana Zaparian wants to become a red priest. My wife is pregnant. Excellent. Bob is gone. Bob fell to the ground like a piece of rotten fruit when the balcony gave way. A tragic accident as far as anyone is concerned. F's in chat, please. For Bob, the warrior philosopher Zaparian, whose life was cut short by a failed resurrection. Uh, I, mean, I wouldn't say a failed resurrection, but I'd say not a good resurrection. I think that was the kindest thing to do. Put the man out of his misery. Fuck. <laughs> Despite apparently dying in hand, Bob has miraculously survived, having been resurrected. Okay, let's try again. We'll, we'll keep going. Eventually, we'll get him team. Don't worry about it. Uh, my wife also interested in joining the plot. I will actually send her a gift to get her on board because we've got more than enough gold for this. Anybody else want to join? Anybody with any sort of significant plot power? Uh, anybody above 10%, we'll, we'll call that much. There we go, right. Welcome aboard. Just helps speed things up. He's probably got a lot of sacrifices left, so we are going to have to burn through those as well. Okay, take your Fs back out of chat, thank you. I'll retract those Fs. We're going to try again. I think obtaining Dragon Egg is, is definitely where we want to go with this one, huh? Uh, some of the storytellers. So we did inherit all of our bloodlines, didn't we? Yeah, we've got everything. Blood of Blob. Bob. P blood of Blob. Blood of Azora High. Zaparian bloodline and blood of a dragon. Now, having the blood of Azora High increases our chance of gaining... Uh, the favoured by Relore actually becoming a Zora High once again. But all we've got to do is make sure this dude is dead. Let's put him out of his misery. Please stop resurrecting him. For the love of God. Uh, we had Wraithwing's whip removed from our treasury. What happened to the dragon then? Oh, I guess it's still Bob's dragon. Because he, he didn't technically die. Shit. Okay, gain the trait dishonourable. Fuck, am I really going to screw this character up trying to kill Bob? This is what's going to happen. Don't do it. My dear, you're already wonderful. 20, 20 diplomacy. This is where it comes in handy. If we get Kinslayer, I think it's a small price to pay for, for obviously becoming, for, for taking on the mantle of God. Ancient wisdom and religious studies, both incredibly good to get as well. Why don't we join a society in the meantime? Um, 
Oh, don't remind me. I thought I thought we were over this. God damn. Our son. Alor, Zaperian, he's a genius. Is it going to count, though? No, I didn't think it would. I thought it would get rid of genius. Yeah, see if they're born with it for whatever reason. He also doesn't look particularly like us, I will admit. Ah, uh, should I be concerned? Kid doesn't really look like us much at all, eh? Seeing that both of his parents are very white-skinned. Well, I suppose it could be this dude's. I have no idea. We won't worry about it too much. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Look, he has the chance of becoming a genius, so it's really not a big deal. Is that the end of him? Oh, God, I thought it was Bob dying then. Whoops. I burnt my knees. Um, we're now a familial kinslayer. Oh, Jesus. Really? Oh, God damn it. I burnt Bob's wife as if I haven't done enough. Oh, the man's widowed. A small private funeral will suffice. I've gained the trait familial kinslayer. It's all going wrong already. Oh, your Imperial Majesty, a new bank has been established in Astapor. The Valyrian Bank of Astapor. I bet they love that one. A mysterious hooded man approaches you. This one can grant the gift of death for the right price. 4,000 gold, and we can guarantee Bob's death. No resurrection, he would be gone. Obviously, I'm going to say no, so that's fucking ridiculous. Um, we'll just... Reputation, Charnis, minus 10. This dude is already fucked. Five minutes I've been playing as him, and he's already screwed. Kaboom, blow him up. Let's see him resurrected when he's in bits across the floor. I, I want Bob dead. Bob perished in the manure explosion. There is no trace of my complicity to be found amongst the, rub the rubble. Bob went out with a bang. Christ! They taped him back together. The flex tape of Valyria has saved this man's life. The road is not safe. Can the trait dishonorable? He got away unharmed. Of course he would. Of course he would. Even though he's a, 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 an incapable, depressed, drunkard, lunatic, silent monster. Please. Success. The mercenaries ambushed the carriage of Bob and made short work of him. They let the driver go. How has he still got this many resurrections? It's impossible. It's not possible that he would have this many resurrections. I'm going to keep killing him. I I'm actually just going to keep going for it. Because eventually we are going to get him. It's just a case to keep trying. Over and over and over. Kill Bob, the warrior philosopher. Uh, we're going to have to send some more gifts out, apparently. I shouldn't have cancelled that last plot. People want him dead. So it's just it's just a case of being patient. We've got to clear the way for the new Azora High. Bob, I'm sorry. Hey, guys. Uh, Jarbo? Yeah, yeah, Jarbo. Jarbo to you too. Um, not a big fan of Jarbo kicking around, huh? Uh, he's actually going to form the Dothraki Great Grass Sea if we're not careful and will become, you know, the Great Carl. Probably should stop that because that gives him some pretty crazy aggression. Um, is there anything we can do to actually stop that right now? Obviously, we don't have a dragon egg or anything, so we're just sort of depending on that. Gotta kill Bob. I want this fucking dragon, Bob. Bob, please. Just die, my dude. Okay, that wasn't me. He's dead, but it wasn't me. Because my plot is still... Oh, my plot's ended. Who had him? Somebody took him out. Murdered on the order of Amidon Zaparian. Favored by Relaw? Oh, okay. I thought it was Azor High Reborn. I thought he'd stolen it from us. My father. Amidon the Brilliant assassinated Bob where we could not. Oh, my God. Look at this dude. Possessed, severely injured. Oh, he was a mess. I don't think I actually checked him during his last two resurrections when we sent those plots after him, but holy shit. Bob, my guy, is, is he actually gone this time? Is he is he finally dead? You would assume so, seeing as his dragon's flown into a rage. Tame that dragon. We've got to get that dragon. Does he deserve to be honored with the funeral? Of course he does. This was Bob Zaparian, the warrior poet, the man we've been playing as for probably not 100 years, let's be honest, but for a very, very long time. <coughs> Excuse me? I was trying to pause the video so I could cough, but okay. Um, travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more and that Amadon Zaparian now rides Wraithwing into battle. Okay, cool. Um, cool, thank you. That's, that's really good. It's not like I wanted that fucking dragon or anything. We did, however, inherit the entire treasury, which was what we didn't have when he was still alive. So we've managed to get the Valyrian Steel Sword, which I'll go ahead and put on there. Um, we will wear the fancy crown, Aegon's crown. Thank you very much. Um, can we actually equip anything else? Do any of these count as like, um, I'm going to assume they don't. No, they all take up the same slot. Uh, yeah, that's cool though. We've actually got a lot of stuff. Obviously, we've got my Steve the Dragon. Huge gain for us there. Your talents will be useful here. Man, I'm a little bit annoyed that in a second of having it unpaused, our father cocked us to the dragon. He's stolen it. Aaron used his attendance. At the feast to pretend... Uh, to, to what? Sorry? Present a petition for justice before the court. 
He said that Amanon's a parent and one of his kins were murdered. He's not guilty of these accusations. He would not murder anybody. He would not murder a single man. How dare you? The merchant must be paid. I agree with Lord Aegot, so we can upset the city. Oh, yeah, just pay the fucking gold, my dude. Don't really nice day. Shut up. Classic, classic funeral here where everybody has problems, but the guy who's actually died. Lord Vermin's apparent used his attendance before the feast to present a petition. Um, lose the trait just, or I go through with it. He did have Bob Zaparian murdered. I can't argue with that. Put him in prison. We could execute him and take the dragon for ourselves at this stage. Um, fuck it. Put them all in prison. Why the hell do I care? Really? We could burn them if nothing else. It just doesn't end. Uh, 125 gold. Sure, why not? I haven't met a more fascinating person. We've become friends with Falaza. And we must arrest this person. Chuck him in prison. Arrest this person. Chuck him in prison again. They can all be burnt. It's fine. Let him rot. The funeral. Amidst a throng of people, the body of the dead, freshly cleaned and prepared for fires to come, is carried to the temple and proceeded. Don't put him in the fire. Jesus Christ, do not put him in the fire. I don't want him coming back. He'll strangle the life out of me. There, the body is laid in state so the family and friends of the dead can say their farewells, place a teary kiss upon the forehead of the body, recollect about the day's past glories, or simply look upon the figure and weep. When each has had their turn to mourn, the body is hoisted onto the pyre, a solemn prayer is told over it, and the lighting torch is presented to Emperor Gaemon. As the crowd gathered crowd quiets, the torch is put to kindling of the body, and it stands back up and declares that it is the new emperor. No, so it is done. Bob Zaparian was murdered on the orders of Emmedon Zaparian at age 107. He was a man whose sanity was regularly questioned, as well as being most fair to look upon. Yeah, I can agree with that. I think that's pretty nice to look upon. He was a respected swordsman, being one of the more capable in history. He was known to be a dragon rider. Well, that was not the story I was expecting. Assassinated by his own son, who now sits in our prison. We can just get rid of him and take the dragon. We will, I believe, gain the trait. Kinslayer for this. We did. Yep. I don't think we should for that. I honestly don't see why we would gain the trait. Kinslayer, when he very clearly was also a Kinslayer. He was very clearly guilty. A small private funeral for him. The dragon is free. Do not unpause it. We must face this dragon ourselves. Face the dragon. Wraithwing. Let her rot. Uh, fuck off. We're friends with some lady. I don't care. I want to tame this dragon. You are mine. I was pretty sure we would succeed with that. It was a little bit risky. But given that we've got all those bonuses, we have now tamed Wraithwing. Everything's fine. We've gained the trait. Okay, because apparently we're a murderer. We've gained the trait stressed. I'm pretty sure it's not entirely true. Um... So, how was it we got rid of the trait Kinslayer? Do you guys remember? It was the family focus. That's what it fucking was. Because Kinslayer is opposite to, um, to, what was it? Family person. And if you get family person, it automatically removes Kinslayer. So, the second I can, we need to flip over. Also, we've got 94,000 men as this dude. Because he's got 20 marshals. So, that's pretty absurd. So, now the goals are quite easy. Become Azora High Reborn. Again. Uh, Reborn Azora High Reborn. Uh, take two. Hopefully this time everything won't go wrong. We've got to try and keep the round together. That's going to be very, very difficult because I imagine everybody hates us. Yep, everybody hates us. Literally every single person has upwards of minus 90 opinion of us. Um, the guy who likes us the most has minus 38, which should say everything here. Uh, yeah, this is really, really, really bad. Dishonorable minus 100. How have we got minus 100 of dishonorable? That doesn't make any sense. We only fucked up three times, though, didn't we? That's got to be a bug, because there's no way in fuck we've... So basically, every time you fail, you get ten more points of dishonor. Supposedly, we failed ten times, and I absolutely don't think we did at all. I think the game's bullshitting us at this point. Anyway, um, let's try and keep the round together. This is going to be fun. Not easy, but, but fun nonetheless. So, obviously, round, good idea. Perform statecraft, good idea. Um, he's the most skilled dude at doing that. The council hate us. They despise us. The factions are going to be insane. They are. Um, I'm trying to sway this dude because he's one of our most powerful vassals. I can invite him here for sightseeing. Why the fuck not? We turned 30 and our hair changed color. Why? Why does he look entirely different now? What the fuck? So it's got to be the Merman culture, right, that's affecting that. Anyway, do turns 30. Uh, it's, head, it's completely changed from white to black, which I guess just happens when you hit the age of 30. Uh, might go for a haircut now because he looked a little bit too much like Severus Snape there. Good. There we go. Um, 
Yeah, this is really odd. We're going to have to be so, so careful with how we play things now. Vassal Levy's raised too long. Have we got Vassal? Oh, we actually do. Put those boys down then. We have a significant army though. Like an actually absurd army. 104,000 men. I mean, if we do end up going to war with Toplock, I think we'll be fine even if the realm is splintered. Because we've just got that many. Oh, God. He's got 121,000 though. Um... I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If we've got an expert in the comments, which I know we do. We've got several. Let me know what's going on with this, this Dishonor. Because I don't think that's worked as intended. I don't think that's worked at all. I think something's definitely gone wrong there. Ooh. Unsullied. Absolutely. We could buy a hundred of them. I've, absolutely fucking not then. Well, it's good to know we can actually get Unsullied though. So it might actually be worth starting to buy them as soon as we can. When we've got a lot more gone. I don't have to worry about bribing people. I might do that. Um, man, a month balance is cut in half because everybody hates us. Jesus, this is going to be difficult. We're going to have to do something we haven't done in a very, very long time. And that's actually train up this air so he's somewhat useful. Um, right, so, oh, man, it feels like ages since we've last done this, eh? Right, so let's get the martial training children because that seems like a pretty good idea. Maester is already serving the court. We need to be proselytizing basically whenever we can. Um, we could go for someone like Karth, sort of spread ourselves out a lot. But I think trying to colonize or, or proselytize the rest of the Gishkari Empire wouldn't be a bad plan either. It's basically just a case now. Sitting around, waiting until we can flip to the family focus, get rid of Kinslayer and seeing if we can just keep the round together from that. Lady Catelyn, the Breaker of Cornfield, has apparently... Oh my god, she worships the many-faced god, the faceless men. She's apparently imprisoned one of our family members. I demanded the release of them and now we're being told that... The envoy has returned and without their head, she had my kinsman executed. Flagrantly ignoring my demands for the kins release, it is now doing so as in the ire of all of House Superian. House Superian and Lefford enter a blood feud. How many members are there of House Lefford? Oh, House Lefford. You, he who laughs last, laughs longest, is what that thing says in the game. Kill them all. I want, where, where is this? Breaker of Cornfield? Why do they worship the many-faced god as well, most point? Uh, I guess maybe pissing off uh, Intrigue Focus Assassins. 24 Intrigue. This might be a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. I, th I think we need to wipe their house out because this is just... This is not on. We can't have a blood feud on top of everything else. Nice. Our first sacrificial burning as our character. We want to get fire obsessed as soon as possible. We absolutely need to. 10% uh, chance of getting trait fire obsessed. Nothing. Soon as we can get that, I believe is when we can start actually clocking up a bunch of sacrifices. Because if we try and execute someone now, uh, we don't actually have the option to do so. Oh, that's my that's my uncle. I probably don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, no, unfortunately we don't have the option to unless we become fire obsessed first. Or a zealot. I believe zealots can also do it. So sticking with the theology focus for some time actually might not be a terrible idea. Who the fuck is Vayner? Vayner claims she's started to show, show signs of pregnancy after your last night of lovemaking. Targaryen? The Targaryens are still around? I had no idea. 27 living members. Yeah, they are. Um, apparently, this character's lover is a member of House Targaryen. Yep, that's actually correct. That would be a powerful house to also get ourselves tied back into. Um, take her as a concubine. Can we actually just do that? Ah, well, there we go. You would kill my unborn child. Don't do that. There we go. Uh, bear you a bastard. No, she won't because she's our concubine. Apparently, we could just take her as a concubine. Oh. Oh. Our wife was also murdered on the orders of this lady here. Good, good. This is going well. Right, now we've also got to get revenge on this woman. Why the fuck not then? Let's just marry this Targaryen woman. Honestly, just just why not? There's, there's absolutely no downside to it. She's not related to us, but she's also a Targaryen. So there's still a, a, a hideous amount of incest going on here. Especially as our house descends from House Targaryen. So that's, that's pretty good as well. Better not use that tone with me, kid. Get out of here. Um, gain the trait shy. For shouting at a child, we, we gain the trait shy. We didn't get the trait shy, though. I, clearly, we have not gained that. I can see it. I can see that we don't have the trait shy. Um, so many gold to get these Dothraki to piss off. Yep, we'll deal with those later. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you think of the Dishonor thing or whether or not I should fix that because I don't think that should have happened the way it was. I will watch back the video and obviously make a decision myself based on that. But, uh, yes, good. Now we've just got to wait and try and get rid of all the Dishonor and the Tyranny and the Kinslayer and then we'll be in a position where we can actually play the goddamn game again. A big shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons, including Zachary Harris, Tariq, Sean Thornton, Haydog, Zidini, Tim Bragg, Loris, Michael Mullen, Vacuous Backus, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander, Fenton, Powers Presley, Asuna Kirito, Logan Thorne, Conspiracy, Jimbo, Orcswolf, 
Fukuno Vasquez, Tom Terror 18, Average Gamer 419, Escape, and Jackson Woodman. Thank you all for your support and the insane tier lovers on Patreon. Thank you for keeping the channel alive. And hopefully you're enjoying yourselves a bit of Game of Thrones. And a big shout as well to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Wintoniak, Euphrates, Jack Allen, Betamus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Vanders, Luan and Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yoan DeVries, Haji Demar, Alpha, Alpha Scuff. Wow, can't talk today. This is not, this is not the best list for me. Kevin Saunders, Doug Honey 2 and 7, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Hancock, Sirthal the Swede, Asaro, Nick, Will Wade, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, the Insane Pickle, and Adam Person. Oh, God, I'm dying here. Thank you all for your support.